A15 my orange chipset and why it is a big deal. So what's up guys my name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype just some fun content while we all are staying inside. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. So A15 my orange chipset it's going to be a big deal I mean I, I don't see anyone talking about this it really uh, on Twitter everyone is talking about the air tags the airpods and all I, I got I, I get it right IMAX airpods and all it's going to be released really soon right I, I was even uh, just building the hype up on my channel by uploading a lot of videos on those you can check them out up in the iCard here or here is the iCard you can click there and check that out so now we are going to talk about the A15 my chipset and it is a big deal and I have no idea I have no clue seriously why people are not talking about that right now maybe I'm too early who is talking about this but still let's just talk about the leaks and all of a15 Maonic chipset so the a15 Maonic chipset it is actually under production right now because Apple releases the iPhone every time in September right but except for last year because we all know these lockdown and all those things were there so except for last year Apple have been releasing the iPhones uh, pretty much all the time they have released their iPhones in September so this year the event is going to be in September I hope so fingers crossed right this year we do not want any bad things or any lockdown and all right if everything goes right we are going to see a new iPhones in September with a 15 Myonic chipset which will be apparently be 20% faster in terms of GPU speed and 15% performance boost then we are going to see 20% increase in efficiency this is not a correct info at all but this is based on leaks which, which have been collected from some of the best sources who have been past couple of years for stuff right so this year in my opinion apple is going to focus more on the efficiency part than the power part because uh, you know a13 maonic chipset it was released with the iphone 11 and still the a13 maonic chipset is really i mean a13 bionic chipset is still really good and still uh, if you would ask me it is still ahead of its time i mean a13 bionic chipset still performs like a beast and sometimes even uh, it performs better than my a14 bionic chipset iphone 12 because iphone 12 a14 bionic chipset apparently is still not optimized and uh, i think this year apple is going to focus more on efficiency and the optimizations part then this performance boost because we got a lot of performance boost in the A14 Bionic, right? And in A14 X and A14X, which will be on the iPad Pros this year, which may release next month, as soon as next month, uh, in April event. So you can subscribe to the channel, right? Because I I will cover uh, if you are interested to watch my content about the about me talking about Apple iPad Pro. A14X Bionic chipset, right? So the chip will be manufactured by TSMC's enhanced 3 nanometer process. And 3 nanometer process, you know what? It is really small. And at this point, I think there will be a performance boost for sure, obviously, as we know, Apple have been doing it. But they are going to focus more on the optimization and the efficiency part, as I just said. But looking at these leaks, uh, just uh, pointing at that the A15 Bionic will be based on 3 nanometer process um, I mean that's going to be uh, literally fastest machine in the market right obviously still iPhones A13 A14 Maonic chipsets are the fastest in the market but I just can't imagine A15 Maonic based on 3 nanometer chipset it's going to be a madness I mean you know 3 nanometer chipset it I, I, I just, just thinking about it right now it's just I just can't imagine how fast it can be. I mean, my A14 Bionic, A13 Bionic is just so damn fast and uh, I have seriously no clue how fast can something be. I mean, these processes are getting at the point of madness. I mean, this is just insane. And by the way, if we'll compare it to the M1 chips, the A14 Bionic on the iPhone 12 series is just a bit slower than the M1 chip on the Max, right? Max, Max. And A14X, which will be in the iPad Pros, will be on par or maybe a little bit faster in terms of single core, in uh, maybe a little bit faster 
in terms of multi-core performance. Who knows? I mean, at this point, A15 Mion, A15 Mionic, we are just talking about that three nanometer based processor. And by the way, A14X Bionic will not will not be based on three nanometer process. For your information, by the way, FYI, right? So yep, I can't wait for Apple to release the A15 Mionic chipset with the new iPhones, and I'm literally so hyped right now. So let's wait and see what, what's going on and uh, i am really excited for a 50 manic chips so now let's move on to the mad black iphone news so the mad black iphones it is expected that apple is going to replace the graphite color actually i, I was thinking about that apple will replace the pacific blue color of the pro series but apparently looking at these leaks they are actually saying that pacific blue may stay here this year which pacific blue looks amazing i mean mean seriously uh, in my opinion it looks one of the best colors uh, of iPhones except for the iPhone 5 black color right I just I just love that color the, that black color looked amazing but after some years of usage aluminium you know it it have tendency to get some marks and some minor scratches so it does not look good after some years but all right glass does look look good always if you keep it in pristine condition right so matte black iphones it, so it looks like apple is going to just like the iphone 7 jet black color apple may bring that kind of finish to the iphone 12 pro series obviously it won't be glossy it will be frosted i do not have a product device right now in my hands laying around or laying around right now here but i do have my iphone 12 which is in frosted skin so uh, this may be this. so yep uh, it will be in this kind of finish the frosted finish uh, which we all see right now in the pro series so it's going to be like this and uh, let's move on to the software part here yep, this was a short part because this was not the main headline of today's show let's talk about the software the ios 14.4.2 so apple released the 14.4.2 today and uh, it was a surprise i mean we all were expecting apple to release the ios 14.5 right this sticker looks dope i know this this sticker looks dope right so we all were we all were not expecting this update to come out but apple released this update all right so here will be a screen in three seconds right one two three so here is a screen right now right so uh, if i'll go in the settings and show you guys here so if you can see 14.4.2 18d70 so this is the update and uh, after updating my device i got around 700 mbps back and i talked about a lot of things on my iphone 10 r review so if you are uh, interested into that you can click here uh, upon the i card to check that out so apparently two imax source code of imax were found in Alright, so that's it for today's video. If this video was helpful for you all, consider dropping a like and subscribe to this channel because I do these type of things almost daily and I don't want you guys to miss that. Peace out and I'll meet you all in the very next episode.